my name is Andrea. Welcome to AKB Bags and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave. So today, as you saw, I have an unboxing from, oh, let me get it in film, Go Forth Goods. Never ordered a bag from them or anything from this company. Um, it's made in the USA. And we will get into this unboxing. I'm really excited because I had looked at this bag color for or over a year ago when that color was released. And I hesitated and didn't get one. And I thought about buying one used and I never did. So if you are interested in seeing what is in here, then stay tuned. So I went ahead and snipped off the top so you could see how it was packaged. Um, again, this is Go Forth Goods. It's made in the USA and they're out of Georgia. And it's really good quality leather. Um, and basically their tradition is to bring back what their grandfathers used to carry. The heavy duty, really reliable, durable leather. So it, you know it's a leather bag. <laughs> Let me get to that and pack it in now. Ooh, first impressions. Here it is. They don't do very good uh, packaging. I would probably put more air paper and, you know, a little bit more care into packaging. So there's an honest there. But, wow, this thing is heavy duty. It really is. Okay, so what I got was this mini Avery, and it's in just the, whatever the original leather. I think you can pick different leathers. You can pick different features. Like you could change this to, I think, a button. But yeah, it's in the blue bison, so it's a bison leather. So you never know, you know, what you're going to get. You know, it has all these cool lines. Love it. Love the... These are like a rose gold buttons right here. And then here's the hardware. Everything's really heavy duty. And you can see how thick... Can you see how thick that strap is? Really pretty. And then this strap has a giant shoulder strap for comfort. Very nice. There's the adjustable strap, and it looks like it has, yeah, there's their little logo right there, Go Forth Goods. Very nice, and this is kind of like that peg and groove, um, and it's, uh, it's an easy opening to do. And then here is the interior, and it's like a raw leather, but made really nice. And then here's a little leather bit right there with the two buttons. I'm still looking at it myself. I'm like, it smells really good. <laughs> I've never had bison leather. Um, this was inside a little keychain, I guess. Yeah, keychain for your, for your bag. And then it has a slip pocket right here. And nothing else. Um, and then it has a key keeper inside little lobster claw very cool there's the stitching of the interior let me see if I can get it wow this thing's heavy I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh it um, <clears throat> so the slip pocket is just the one slip pocket with the buttons yeah really pretty color it's like a turquoise let me show you how this goes on. I think you just go, you put it through the loop and then it goes on like that. Super easy compared to Dooney for sure. Look at the different texture and pebbling of this bag. So cool. There's the front again and then there's the back and you could also choose to get feet on the bottom which I did not. 
I just chose the original and I had a coupon code that I used and I think I ended up paying like 208 for it but wow this is some good quality <laughs> Let's do the measurements. The website says nine by nine, and I always like to take my own measurements because honestly, it's 11 by nine. So I'm coming up with a little bit wider. Um, then again, there's some stitching inside, so maybe that's where the nine by nine is. And then the depth is well it's kind of squished in but two and a half three depth and here's just a closer close-up of this bison it's so pretty cobalt blue it's a limited edition so if you're gonna grab it you better grab it now because it will disappear and these are brass hardware and then these right here, the buttons are like a rose gold color. And that's brass. And the actual little loop here is brass. So, and then here's the bottom again. Such pretty quality. Craftsmanship is spot on. For sure. This was inside the box as well, the Go Forth Goods. I guess it's a sticker, I'm not sure. And then also the Go Forth Goods little card, and it says it's out of Marletta, Georgia. And then there's their website and Instagram and all that. So there's their business card. And then also, this was a little treat. Inside um, the box was the item name, the Avery Mini Cobalt Blue, and there's the order number, and the date that it was made was 3-3 of 23 by Donna, and I appreciate it, Donna. You did a really good job. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful bag, seriously, um, and it is guaranteed for life, so yeah, I guess if something happened to it, there is a guarantee of, you know, their craftsmanship. So that's a neat little touch. So here's the Coach Soft Tabby. And then here's the Bison Blue next to it. So it gives you an idea. I'm into blues lately and teals. So there's the suede, of course, on Coach. And then here's the, the Blue Bison. Very nice. Let me weigh this. So I just weighed it and it weighs one pound and 15 ounces according to my scale. So it's it's definitely not a light bag, but look at this shoulder strap. It's gonna be very comfortable and I wanted to show you the inside of the, the leather on the strap. Super nice. Oh, here's another feature I did not show you is on each strap on the the little top handles has go forth goods stamped on the top there and again I didn't pick any extra features that you could pick to change the bag I just wanted to go with the bag that they make like this is the they, you could pick a different leather color like black and maybe a, a natural light color but I wanted this color <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to see what the, all the hype of go forth goods is and it smells like leather <laughs> i really like it i'm impressed so stay tuned for a what's in my bag video on this little cutie and i think it holds plenty for me but what do you think have you owned one of these bags because i never have but i might have to go back for more <laughs> again here's the back again you could take off the strap, it's removable, but yeah, I love all these different design in the leather because you never know what you're going to get. Super, super neat. I'm impressed. Go get you one. And again, it's the uh, cobalt color and the mini Avery. So 
Thank you again for watching. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you'd like, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.